with the center at the origin. We need to understand the word origin. What does it mean? Origin. Yeah. It means which is center here to it's at zero and zero. Yeah. At the beginning, origin. So it means which here you have zero and what and and zero. And then they say that it passes through the point minus two and four. Now, as I said, just like a straight line has a standard equation, a circle has a standard equation. So we are going to get the equation of a circle using the following equation. Now, yeah, on a straight line, M represented what? It represented the gradient, okay? Yeah, here, yeah. on the equation of a circle, we need to understand what does the A represent, what does the B represent. Now, let's start there. Now, A and B, they represent the coordinate of the center of the circle. That's very important. A and B, they represent the coordinate of the center of the circle. Yeah. A represent the X coordinate of the set. B represents the Y coordinate of the set. And then after that, you have your R. Your R represents the radius. But here, you know, we want the radius squared. So if you look at the following then, we can come and say the standard equation is given as X minus A or squared plus Y minus B or squared, which is going to be equal to what? R squared. Now, just like the equation of a straight line, we don't know, we don't have to know what is X and Y, but we should put numerical values for A, B, and R. And then X and Y, we'll just leave them. Now, based on what we just said here, what are the coordinates of the center here? It's zero is to zero. Okay? Now, we should be careful here. We are given the following point. They didn't give it a name. Let's give it a name, A. And then let's say this one here, it's O. Now, the coordinates that I'm going to substitute for A and B, I need to be careful here. Based on what I just said here, should I substitute A or should I uh, substitute O on A and B here? Ooh. Oh. I should substitute O again. Then this thing here is going to be X minus, and then I'll say the X coordinate is going to be what to be. So in fact, you can come and say here, on the sense, on the center, I'll say this one here is A, and then when you say this one here is B. This one here is our A. This one here is going to be our, our, our mm -hmm. B. And then it says all squared plus, we have Y minus zero, all squared, which is going to be equal to our two and squared. Now here's the problem. Uh, we want to know which what's going to be R squared. Now, when we had Y squared into MX plus C, we first got M again. We first got M. After getting M, then we're supposed to get C. How can you get C? We use the point, whatever point that they gave us, we use it to get what C. Same thing here, we're going to use exactly the same principle. We are going to get the R squared by using the following point here. According to this point, it says which we have X and then we have Y. So we'll say according to that point, I'm going to substitute. What is the X value here? It's minus two, minus zero or squared plus. What is our Y? Four. It's four minus zero or squared, which is going to be equal to our two. Okay. Then from here, you can take out your calculator and then say you have minus two minus zero all squared plus. And then it says which R squared is going to be equal to our two to three. I'm not looking for the radius. I'm looking for the radius squared. So I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is. Now, what is going to be the equation then? Therefore, it means that the equation is going to say, if I... and then now, instead of R squared, we know what is R squared. Then. What is going to be R squared now? It's straight. Therefore, this is going to be, the, this is the equation of the second, of the second. This is the equation of this particular second. 